Good afternoon. My name is Councillor Richard Jones, the Mayor of Sandwell. I have the pleasure of introducing this year's Festival of Remembrance. Elements of this year's festival have been specially recorded for today. Amongst the pieces today are poems and songs from school children, local faith leaders sharing their thoughts and reflections, and wartime stories connected to our towns. On the 11th day, at the 11th hour of the 11th month in 1918, the guns on the Western Front fell silent. The Great War was over. The First World War was over. The war to end all other wars was over. 21 years later, this nation and the Commonwealth was once again at war. Let us remember. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Searching for Walter Toll by Musa Akanga. His life was the ink that stands out on history's page. The orphan, the mixed race grandson of a slave. The football slow in stride but swift of thought. The soldier who survived the sun, but who died in World War I's injury time. A few weeks from the end of that churning conflict, in no man's land, as he was leading a charge, life handed him the red card. Months earlier, in Italy, he had been the maker of history, going where no person of colour or Negro had been allowed to go before, a black officer leading his white peers into the hungry mouth of war. So loved was he by his men, that they risked their lives to recover his body. 
after his death. But Walter Toll's slumbering form was never found. And a century after his death, we are still looking for him now. Known for his calm when the world was aflame, we need his memory at this time. When the humanity of Britain's immigrants is being so fiercely denied, so sleep well, Walter Toll, and we'll do what it takes to ensure that, to your story, the world remains awake. In Flanders Field by John McRae, 1915. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row, that mark our place and in the sky, the lark still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below, we are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up your quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw, the torch be yours to hold it high, if you break faith with us, who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow.
2022. And again, we come to this period of remembrance on the 11th of November at 11 a.m. And then on Remembrance Sunday, a couple of days later. My name's David, I'm Vicar of Holy Trinity Smethwick and part of the Faithful Friends team. Uh, faith leaders, residents of Sandwell. And some of us would like to share our thoughts now about Remembrance this year. Thank you. I greet you with the universal greetings of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May God's peace and blessings be with us all. On the occasion of remembrance and as people and communities up and down our country remember the people that we lost in World War I and World War II, we also ponder over the sentence of lest we forget. And what does that mean for us? Uh, for us, it's celebrating the lives of those people who came before us. Uh, we live upon the sacrifice, we live upon the legacies of those who came before us, the soldiers from the United Kingdom, from Europe, the soldiers from India, the soldiers from North Africa, the soldiers from the Caribbean and the States who took part in that war. We look back, we reflect upon that and we show a sense of gratefulness. And Muslims remember by making prayers, their prayers are a, a sense of gratitude to their loved ones that they lost. We make prayers that God forgives the shortcomings of those who came before us and God elevates them in the life of the hereafter. And the second remembrance uh, for Muslims would be in the form of reflecting, genuinely reflecting over what they established for us. We sit upon the backs of people who sacrificed their lives. We sit upon the backs of people who made sacrifices in knowledge and that we sit here today uh, vaccinated against illnesses and other forms of disease that we could have previously perished from. So as we move forward, perhaps we do not need to take arms and many of us aren't part of the uh, armed forces, but we can be brave in at least talking with those people that we may be fearful of, that we don't generally have a conversation with, and at the same time be courageous and open-minded enough to learn about people that are different to us. Because if we don't, then we may make the same mistakes of the past and the sentence, lest we forget, may become useless. So I pray that we have the courage to take these brave steps and I pray that we can remember our past to have a stronger and better future. May God be with us all. My name is Sukhwinder Singh. I'm one of the faithful friends, a member here in the Sandworm. So talking about Remembrance Day, Remembrance Day is for everyone. Every community, every person living in this country, United Kingdom, especially here in Sandwell. So many Sikhs, Indians, came from India to protect this country. The people they never had met before, the country, the culture they never knew anything about. But still came with the British forces to protect, save and fight for freedom for all. So remembering those, every single one, including those that are serving the army today to protect, to save our future, the future of our children. So I would like to thank everyone on behalf of the Sikh community and I pray that everyone live peacefully all over the world. Thank you very much. God bless you all. So from Nazir and from Sakhvinda, uh, as my faithful friends, you've heard their reflections on remembrance. For me, wearing this poppy honours those who have died in war and those who are currently serving in the uniforms of the armed forces of the UK, uh, prepared to lay down their lives in order to defend the rest of us, that we might live lives of peace. So this year again, we honour them fallen and serving and we ask ourselves what difference does that make to how we conduct our lives in these streets of Sandwell? How do we as politicians, as faith leaders, as teachers, as simply as citizens, how do we live lives that demonstrate we have heard the message from the trenches, we have heard the message from the pilot spinning out of control out of the sky? We have heard the message from the soldiers blown up in tanks because yes, there are human beings inside the tanks that get blown up. Have we heard their message and their call for peace in this land?
hold each in your prayers, be you of faith or no faith. And may we hold one another in our prayers, that we may indeed conduct ourselves as if we have heard the message from the trenches, from the skies, from the tanks. In the name of God. Amen. <laughs>
Why Do I Wear a Poppy by Anne Starr. Why do I wear a poppy? I'll tell you if I may. Because I believe remembrance is not only for one day. I wear it for the fallen and for those falling still. For those who came back broken in body or in will. For the parents, spouses, siblings where bereavement takes its toll. Whose pain will never leave them, it eats into their soul. For the wino on the corner, of his old life nothing's left. Now he wishes when in battle he had died a hero's death. For the lad who loved a kickabout in the park with all his mates, but now his legs are held together with pins and metal plates. For the selfless men and women whose final journey home is in a union flag draped coffin on comrade's shoulder board. For all those marching proudly in Remembrance Day parades, my poppy's worn in gratitude for the sacrifice they made.
lives of soldiers and civilians throughout history and affected many other people's lives. The Turton family from the Oak House were involved in the English civil wars of the 1640s. During these wars, around 4.5% of the population lost their lives and 2% of the population lost their homes. In gratitude of silence. Silent now the soldiers sleep, their tails laid to rest. I knew them not, yet still I weep and place a poppy on my breast. They were husbands, brothers, fathers, sons, so valiantly they fought. On shores stained red, on hands and knees, it was our freedom that they sought. Courageously they stood their ground, but freedom carries a cost. Thousands of people wounded, countless lives were lost. So in gratitude of silence and all those who have served, sleep now, you have earned it. Your peace is well deserved. Bless you, my soul, and soul.
I hope you've enjoyed our virtual festival and take time to quietly remember the importance of remembrance and hope this will serve as a reminder of the past and honour those who have served and are serving their country so valiantly. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. We will remember them. Please continue to take care and keep safe.